Farfrey's Glen is located four miles east of Devil's Lake. West of the McKenzie Environmental Education Center and north of our state's capital, Madison. It includes a 100 foot deep gorge and was designated as our state's first natural area which protects it for future generations, like yours. The walls of Parfrey's Glen is a timeline. Unlike most timelines, this one goes back hundreds of millions of years. These walls are filled with evidence of change, evidence of what our world used to be, evidence that there are forces in this world that we can't control. They have a candidate who's very strong and is fighting with us for second place. There are quick geological changes, like a landslide, and then there are very slow geological changes, like the change caused by a glacier during an ice age. This is a computer animated glacier in Yosemite National Park. Yosemite Valley was carved out by this glacier more than 10,000 years ago, similar to Devil's Lake in Wisconsin. Parfrey's Glen, which millions of years ago was once near the equator when the area now known as Wisconsin was covered with seawater, was first formed by volcanoes and then millions of years later was carved by the runoff from glaciers. When we visit this gorge, look closely at the walls. They show Cambrian sandstone that go back more than 500 million years. It also shows conglomerate, a sedimentary rock consisting of rounded fragments forced together over time. Devil's Lake is also surrounded by conglomerate. You'll notice red baraboo quartzite, which is rare in our state. Quartzite is a hard metamorphic rock which was originally pure quartz sandstone. The sandstone was converted into quartzite through heating and pressure, usually related to tectonic compression. Look for the layers in the gorge. Think of these layers as a ring in a tree. While a tree's ring represents the growth of one year, a layer here is evidence of millions of years of change. It's difficult to wrap your head around the time that has passed in this place. That's part of the beauty of this gorge. It opens a window and allows us to see and think about what was and what will be. Today, this gorge includes a microclimate, so you can find plants here that can only be found in cooler climates, like northern Wisconsin. But that's not what brings us here. We're going to visit this unique place to study its geology. We don't have the Grand Canyon here in Wisconsin or Yosemite National Park, but it's similar to both of those geological wonders. The modest trickle that is flowing here today did not cut this gorge. That is very different than the Grand Canyon, which was created over millions of years by the power of the Colorado River. The small stream, Parfrey's Glen, is too weak to reduce the blocks that have fallen from the gorge walls. 
This gorge was created the same way that Yosemite National Park in California was created, glaciers. Geologists believe that Parfreeze Glen was cut by meltwater from a glacier as the earth began to warm and the glacier began to recede toward Devil's Lake. After the ice retreated eastward, a small spring located above the glen began to feed the gorge. Thousands of years later, Robert Parfrey built his sawmill and gristmill. More than 150 years later, you came to study this geological wonder. What will it look like 10,000 years from now? A million years from now? How about 500 million years from now?